We've been using this design to demonstrate how to set up a plant schedule associated with the design. And the plant schedule is over here. When the plant schedule is created, it's a block. And if we come over here, its name is plant schedule. You could edit that and change its name if you wanted. But if we dive into it by editing the block and pick a piece of text in here, and we have a look at the character height, that's character height here, and 150, I'd like to draw your attention to the text style. The current text style with a tick by it is standard, and it's actually been set in this drawing at 150. So if we cancel from there and just pick that, we've got character height of 150. If we wanted to, we could rerun the schedule and change the height of text in the schedule. Let's do that and we'll close the editor and we'll rerun GCAD Plus and Plant Schedules and draw the standard schedule. And remember down here we've asked for the text height. We typed 150. Let's just make that um, so let's vary it, we'll make it larger, make it 200 and the corner point, we'll set it up in a similar sort of vein, we'll come here, give it a little more space and come down, give it a little more area and this should be larger text and you can see that it is. So the point that I'm making is that the text you type there for the height overrides any of the text style settings. This is a setting 250. What I would suggest you do, in fact, is change that to zero, which means you can just pick a text height, but that's for another day. We'll run that again with a, a text height of 150 in a moment, but what's happened here is we've done a little review. The school teachers want to mesh over the little pond and we've added another species. So let's, we need to update the plant schedule. So that's done with GCAD Plus and we want to set data to a plant and we can pick this new one and we're going to tag that with I've added Pandora jasonoides, the wonderfully named common name of Wonga vine, and we say OK and finish. So what we now want to do is to run that schedule again and it should count the number of instances of the vine that we want to place along that wall which has now got a, a, a lined style added to it. So if we pick it you can see it's fence line two. That's put, that puts those little squares in. Let's now update the plant schedule. So we should get one new entry and we'll we update it and we need to redraw it again, don't we? Because Pandora is in there, but we haven't got enough space. So we need to draw that plant schedule on scratch and that's interesting drawing it from scratch is somewhat difficult let's blow that one away I'm a little puzzled because update the schedule I'll try again did I pick the wrong one GCAD plus plant schedule, we want to draw the schedule, of course. So now we come back to our standard 150. So you can see that someone who's been involved with this offer for a very long time can certainly make mistakes. So we draw it again and there's our nice neat little plant schedule. So we're working our way somewhat laboriously through some of these. So we've edited the plant list, we can view the plant list and there it is. That 
you might have a, a GCP file with hundreds of entries, but when you choose that option, it just views what's been tagged. The other point that I wanted to show will show symbols with names we've demonstrated. Remove a data from a plant is quite obvious, but what I wanted to demonstrate was search symbol. Let's swing to a different drawing. We'll look at this one. It's more complex. If we go GCAD plus and show symbols with names, most of them are tagged, but we have missed this particular one here. Plant symbol 01. And it will be, if we look in the plant schedule and edit it now, it'll be somewhere in this 500 odd entry database. But I want to find a particular species in a fairly cluttered drawing. And that's done by GCAD plus and search for a symbol. We've given you the ability to just put a small section, small part of the botanical name. I happen to know that Todonia viscosa, the hop bush, is in this drawing, so we could type Dodon and that should find it. We also should be able to type in hop and go OK. And there we are. It finds this symbol over here. So we could modify it, edit it, do whatever we want to do with it. Let me swing back to the drawing that we've been working with. So I think at this point, I hope you're relatively confident in using the tools here in this first list to, uh, to find and locate and add and remove. There are lots of other options that we won't deal with just at the moment applying a code and a smart label. But the key issue is to get you into a position that you're confident enough to develop a drawing yourself and generate a plant schedule.